Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great. And for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. Today we are continuing on with our VGC Series 10 content, featuring another team that's not that meta at the minute, but uh, an interesting one nonetheless. And it is going to be all around the whole, or as you can see here is the team on your screen in front of you now. As always, there'll be a poker piss down in the description. And if you stick around till the end of the episode, I will be throwing a rental code up for this particular team. So we got the whole all here with the safety goggles, gives you that protection against rage powder and other sleep or powder attacks, which is quite handy. Uh, then we've got the Landorus. It is going to be scarf, gives you just a little bit of stability against things like Regilecki, faster things like Nihiliga that could cause you a lot of issues. And um, we've got the Serena helps with that uh, priority attack. Uh, obviously, it's amazing stopping fake outs, things like that, helps get speed control going and things like that. Uh, Suicune, um, going to be our main kind of speed control setter on the team. Gives a nice fire water grass call with the Ho'o and that Serena as well. Obviously, inner focus as well makes you kind of immune to fake outs and flinches, which is always handy. Then we've got the Raichu because I think for the most part, we do have. Uh, a good check in Landorus, of course. We've got the Intimidate there as well. Helps out against Regieleki a bunch. But I think, you know, we need additional support for that. Serena arguably can do that because of its grass type and resists that type. But the Lightning Rod makes it difficult uh, for opponents to kind of come out. And things like Zapdos will have a harder time against this team in general. Raichu also provides a little bit additional speed control with that nuzzle there, which is super handy. Got a nice base speed of 110 as well. Fake out support as well is always useful. And then rounding off with Aegislash, which provides Y God support, gives us a steel type into the team, gives us priority attacks as well if we need it in Shadow Sneak, and uh, a good check or an additional check to something like Xerneas that could be a little bit problematic and a Pokemon that can function a little bit better than some of the others in Trick Room. So, as I say, we'll have a couple of games of the team now. Uh, and then we'll throw the rental code up at the end. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Let me know what your thoughts are on ho or if you've been playing around with it in this format. If you think it's good, if you think it's bad, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear them. So drop them down below. And um, without further ado, friends, we'll get into our first game of today. Okay, friends, first up, and it's a common trend this week. We're seeing all these fantastic teams in our first games, and we've got another one. It's not letting us down here. We've got Bertic, we've got Alolan in Nine Tails, we've got Lilligant, Whimsicott, Groudon, and Celesteela. It's, um, it's an interesting build for sure. You've got the Ligand, which is going to cause us all sorts of issues when it's paired up with the Groudon. It's got Chlorophyll ability, got stuff like Sleep Powder after you. Going to be a nuisance to deal with, uh, to say the least. Um, and then you've got the, uh, obviously the Hail mode as well with Bertic. Going to have Slush Rush, potentially you would imagine it has. You've got Tailwind in the team as well. Uh, and then the Celesteel are going to be a little bit obnoxious for us to deal with. But all in all, Hot all looks fantastic in this match. Honestly, like Bertic, you've got to worry. Does it, it probably gets a rock type attack? It's probably got something there. Uh, and Groudon definitely has. And then you've got to worry about Meteor Beam on the Celesteela as well. So there are some threats that we need to kind of keep in mind. But Hot all in general does super well in this match. I think, I think, I think. Do we want to go speed control? Because Suicune could provide us with some nice speed control options here. Um, although Raichu provides us with nice fake out support. Uh, and if we see the Groudon come out, then it kind of helps us out a bunch, doesn't it? I think we'll go Ho or Raichu. Um, I think we'll go Suicune. And then we will also go for Aegislash, I think, here. I think Aegislash probably fits the bill a little bit better. Like the rest of the team scares me a little bit bringing against these this ice core and the fire core ice and fire do well against serena and uh landorus isn't really going to be super handy i mean the intimidate's great against groudon but um Aegis Lash can kind of be a nicer switch into the ice mode if you do see that i think the big thing for us is uh we've got to protect the hot or from the the groudon right the thing is i think we're going to see it go rock slide here, but with the safety goggles, we don't really worry about the uh, the Lilligant at all. So we can just fake out into Groudon. Um, and I think we just Sacred Fire. Sacred Fire into Lilligant. And in this situation, you know, I feel like, hmm, hmm. Roost is probably a better option against Groudon because the rock slide. But then it's a double-edged sword, right? Recover doesn't put you in harm's way of getting hit by like a precipice blades as well so pros and cons 
I kind of prefer Roost a lot of the time though, you know, but it's down to uh, a, player's, a player's choice, I guess. So we'll get the fake out into crowd on, just stop that moving here. We'll see what the, there's the sleep powder coming out into the old portal. We get that fire boosted, sacred fire, taking down the little game in one swift sweep. Right. Now we do need to worry, Lilgan's gone, so that's one issue dealt with nicely. And the safety goggles there coming in pretty handy for us, which is good. Let's see what comes in next. It's a Ninetales, taking the sun away. Hmm. They're going to get the Aurora Veil up, which isn't ideal. But I think we probably pull a switch to something like Suicune here, and then maybe Nuzzle. Nuzzle the uh, the old nine tails to really slot down, and then I think Suicune becomes a way bigger threat to something like Groudon. We've got to watch out for something like uh, Freeze Dry, which will hit us pretty hard. But you've got to imagine something like um, Rock Slide's going to come out here from the Groudon. I think. Oh, it's Precipice Blades, just ignoring the fact that oh, oh it's on the field. Wow. Okay. Well, takes us down to our sash, but opens the door for ho -Oh to come right back in as the Aurora Veil is now set up. Hmm. I think we probably bring Aegislash in, to be honest, because the, the Wide God gives us, like, ultimate protection. Um, we could... We could... Hmm. Because we can go wide guard, right? We can wide guard and just scald into the Groudon. Or we could go for Gyrable. Because we'll take a Precipice Blades, you know? I just don't want Suicune taking another Precipice Blades. That's the thing. I'm going to wide guard and I'm going to go scald into the Groudon. I think Ninetales hasn't got the... Okay. Grad, I'm going to switch out. I'm going to see. Bear tick coming. It is the big bad bear. Here we go. If a blizzard comes out here, that's phenomenal for us. But I can't see it happening. It'll be freeze dry, I think. The Ninetales might be paralyzed as well. The skull burn here would be... Fin ah, there we go. That's what we like to see. We get it. Icy wind blocked. So that is helpful. Um... But yeah, that bear tick took the skull pretty well. I wonder if it's ah oh, the aurora veils up right, so that that definitely helps. Um, okay, well, age slash goes for the gyro ball here. We've got nothing to fear, I don't think, right at this moment in time, really. Um, and if icy wind's the biggest threat from the the nine tails, then we're kind of alright. I think we probably want a tailwind as well, to be honest. We can gyro ball and then just just get our tailwind up. It's gonna make Gyro Ball a lot less effective, but for the for the end game, when ho -Oh comes back in, then we don't need to worry about speed. Oh god! Oh. Okay, Tailwind's definitely a better option here. <laughs> Hopefully, the Gyro Ball still takes down the Nine Tails. It is like four times weak. Nice wind, definitely helping that side of things out for us. We still have King Shield. That we, we'll have to go King Shield next turn, really, to get Aegislash in a, in a better position. Yeah, that is enough. So, the Nine Tails down. Bertic back to neutral now after that Swords Dance boost. But Ho oh gonna be. I think, like, hmm, hmm. Yeah, I think we. King Shield, protect. Uh, King Shield and Scald into the Groudon. Uh, if we can get a burn on the Groudon, that's that's massive for us. That really shuts the game down and allows Hot or then to come in and kind of just clean up. I'm kind of curious to see what this Bear Tick's got though, as well. The sun going to be up in the sky. So that Slush Rush ability gone for Bear Tick. Now, you've got to worry about does it go for another Sword Stance? Because there's the opportunity here for my opponent to definitely, to definitely go for that. But we haven't revealed why God yet. So, I mean, 
Groudon's not going to have Stone Age. I don't think, right? It's going to have Rock Slide. So, Precipice Blades, we kind of shut the, the Groudon out of the game by just uh, wide guarding anyway. And like I say, if we can get the burn here, even if Suicune goes down. No burn. No burn. Okay, there's Ice Sphere. And Precipice Blades. I don't think this takes us down, though. Can we actually avoid the Precipice Blades? That's pretty huge for us. We kind of want ho -Oh to come in, honestly. And it might be better to... Is it better to switch ho -Oh in now? Just get it on the field, I think, in wide guard. Yeah, there's no need to keep Suicune on the field right now, I don't think. Because I think they probably go for the same play again. I think they got Blades and Ice Sphere. And then we get Hot Oat in. And we just deal with a bear tick. And then Groudon's easy to, easy enough to deal with. It's going to probably not have a single target attack to deal with the Age of Slash. May have Fire Punch, but it's it's not likely. Brick Break. Love to see it. Breaking those screens. And there's the Blades. Okay. But now we are going to be able to deal with a bear tick, like I say. We'll just get a sacred fire off. That should take it down. And then the ground is going to be pretty easy game after that. Burn just chipping away at the big bear. And the Auroville finally wears off, which is exactly what we want. Perfect timing as we get the sacred fire. And we got this is our last turn of Tailwind as well. So if we can deal with a bear tick now, it's pretty nice for us. Because you've got to still worry about something like. I don't know if I get Stone Edge. I'm not really all fair with like Bertic's move pool. I have played around with it in previous formats, but nothing like super serious. Heat Crash. There we go. That's what we were looking for. It is going to take the Age of Slash down, but that's kind of fine because we're going to get Sweet Coon back in. There's not too many turns of the sun left. Um, Groudon's definitely got Rock Slide, I think. Has it? Yeah, casting. Unless it's got Swords Dance, Heat Crash, Precipice Blades. I think you would have used Rock Slide before now. Yeah, we'll just Sacred Fire. And Scald. And that should be enough to get the Grout on. And uh, Hot or still the fastest thing in the field, which which is super helpful. And the Scald, yes, we can faster than it. So there should be enough, even in the sun, to wrap the game up. Very good game to my opponent. Enjoyable one there. Seeing kind of the double weather there from my opponent. Making really good use of it in this team. Not making it easy for us. And we had a good matchup anyway with the whole. So a good one for us to kick off with. And we'll jump straight into our second game of the episode. Next up today, we have a Zacian, a Galarian Zapdos, a Whimsicott, Reggie Eleki, Landorus Incarnate, and Incineroar. Pretty interesting team. Um, lots going on here. You've got Tailwind going to be the most kind of, uh, well, the only kind of form of speed control outside of the Reggie Eleki here with Electroweb that's going to support pretty much most things on the team when you're looking at like base 101 speed on the Landorus Incarnate and then base 100 speed on the Galarian Zapdos. So the Electroweb really comes in quite handy here for my opponent. Makes it a little bit more tricky for us to utilize our Tailwind, of course. And we're going to need to utilize Intimidate here. It makes it tricky against the Zapdos for sure. But I mean, Hoto has a great matchup against uh, the Zacian in general. So, um... I don't know if the, the Landorus will even have an, a way to hit uh, ho -Oh outside a Sludge Bomb. Um, so, that could be a big benefit for us. Okay, so, what are we going to do? Lead ho -Oh, for sure. Lead Raichu, for sure. I mean, is it worth doing that? Or do we go with something like Suicune, get our speed control up, kind of match their, their speed control, uh, have Landorus in the back with ho -Oh, and I think that kind of that gives us enough options to deal with pretty much most things on the team. Don't feel like we need Serena here. An Aegis Slash could be good, but I don't feel like it's massively necessary in this match. Whereas the other options that we've got can can do the work. So, uh oh, can we get a second win today? And that is the big question. It's all in my hands. Because we can't blame our Pokemon, right? Can we? We can blame RNG. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Right, Landorus and Winnie. Okay. I mean, we got a couple of options here, right? We can go for Fake Out into Landorus. 
There is the threat that it's got. I mean, we do. There is the the worry here about them taunting us, right? Whereas we could just icy wind. Breaks the sash potentially does nice damage, um, and then we can tailwind the next turn if we want, and then switch switch Raichu out. Kind of prefer that to be honest. I mean, it's likely that the Landorus just protects here, so we are we better off just tailwinding. No, well, Icy Wind, we'll go with the play, because I think Tailwind in the next turn, if they do Tailwind here. Ooh, Wimmy Protect. That's interesting. Get a crit as well. RNG on our side. Um, I wonder, well, they must be expecting us to fake out the Whimsicott there. That's the only thing you can think of. Uh, but the Icy Wind coming in super, super handy. We still got to worry about the the uh, the old um, tailwind here from the women. I mean, we can just vault switch out, right? We can vault switch out. It'll take Raichu down to its sash. Worst case scenario, right? Um, but I think we just icy wind again because uh, we can then tailwind the turn after that because Wimmy's going to tailwind here. Okay. Well, Raichu gets to see another day. Zashin coming in. You don't mind one little bit getting that boost boop, 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 boost there's the tailwind <coughs> I'll get right you out save right you for later that active fake out is going to be quite useful um do we now do we bring in landorus or do we bring in Horto? because we could switch suicune out I think we bring Hot Oil in, right? And then we, we switch we switch Suicune out to Landorus the next turn. And we're pressuring like that Zash in slot so hard. Um and even the Wimmy slot to be honest. You don't even need to switch out at this point. So but I think we do. I think we do. I think we got circuit fire into the Zash in and we'll take a quick look at my opponent's team. What options have they got? Like, what resists have they got here? I mean, they've got Incineroar, which could come in on that Whimsicott slot, right? It could do. And we could call that. We could just Scald into that slot. Or we could Tailwind here. Um, but if they do switch to Incineroar, Landorus is going to come in after the Incineroar, so we won't be subjected to Intimidate. So I think this probably makes... A little more sense. It, it slows the the sweeping down, uh, the the zashing down a little bit more. The zashing's so scary with that plus one, right? You want to have, you want to try and keep it in check for uh, as much as you can. Endeavor. Oh, we don't like to see that. Oh, that is not ideal. Behemoth blade. Oh, oh, this is not not what we want to see. Oh, Endeavor Wimmy. I hate it. It's a nice play for my opponent. I mean, we can't ignore that. Oh, God. This is terrible for us now. Losing the heart or like that is not ideal. Right. Well, 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 well. The Wimmy's gone. The Wimmy is going to protect here. 100%. We can't stop. Uh... The Endeavor is awful. I mean, we U turn out on Zashin, we have to. They're going to switch Zashin out, I think. Protect Wimmy. And they're not. They're not even protecting Zashin. Could have just Earth Powered. Oh, they are protecting. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. Okay, now we can U turn out onto the Whimsicott. Because will, will, will we be faster? No, we will not be faster. Unless the Tailwind ends right now, which I don't think it does. No. But we can nuzzle the Zashin. They're just going to double up into Landorus again, though. That's the issue. Uh, we don't really have... We don't have much of an option. I mean, we could have switched to Suicune here, but I kind I prefer to keep Suicune. And we do outspeed the Zashin, so the Icy Wind definitely coming in handy there. Which is, which is huge for us, right? That's massive. That is massive. That kind of saves the game for us a bit. Okay. 
Suicune can come in on this Behemoth Blade. We should take it pretty well. And the Nuzzle is going to be really useful against the, the opposing Zashin. Especially, and then they're not going to target into the Raichu. Raichu gets to see another day. Okay. Wow, what a great way to deal with their uh, Ho-Oh. Sometimes you just have to take your hat off to your opponent, like the Endeavor play there. Should have never attacked that. Damn Wimmy. <laughs> Should never have attacked it. The Tailwind finally pet us out. We've done the job of getting rid of Whimsicott, so we can't see a second Tailwind, which is, which is really handy. Uh, it's all down to Suicune and Landorus here, though. So, let's see what comes in. Incineroar. Oh, well, that's not bad, you know. That is really not bad at all. Um, they can't fake out Suicune here, so we've got a pretty free turn. Um, problem is, do we want to keep the Raichu sashed? I don't really want to switch Landorus in. To be honest, like, I'd rather... I think... Hmm, I don't really want to Volt Switch either. We could just go for a Nuzzle into Incineroar. And then... I think Scald. Uh, Scald into Zashin. Yeah, they're going to target the Raichu. Makes sense to do that. I think you can't burn the Zash in. But it is paralyzed, so that makes me feel so much better. Um, the thing is, like, Landorus is so low health at the minute, we cannot afford to bring we can't afford to bring it in right now. We cannot afford to bring it in. Um I think we just go after the the, the incineral here. Yeah, we double up into it. With a nuzzle and a scald. Because what we want to do is try and pin my opponent so they can't switch the Zash into the Landorus, right? Let's see how much a Skull's going to do. Hopefully 50% would be ideal and there's no Citrus Berry. Not even that. Play rough. Ooh. Did not see that coming. But this opens the door for us to get the, the Landorus onto the field, right? Potting shot. Oh, it's paralyzed. Okay. Now we got the Intimidate back onto the Zashin. I mean, we could just Earthquake. Uh, it's too risky. It's too risky. Like, Earthquake in locks us into it. And Suicune not going to appreciate taking Earthquakes every turn. We've got a free knockout onto the Incineroar. For sure. Yeah. But they could switch out. That's the big problem for us, I think. Whereas we get rid of the Zashin, it makes sense for them to just switch it, switch it as well, you know? What are they going to do? Zashin's minus one, so you're going to want to switch Zashin out. I think we go Scald into Zashin, we got Earth Power into Incineroar, right? Like, logically speaking, that's what you'd expect to see. No switch outs. Wow. It does not, nothing. There's nothing. Really, there's nothing. That is terrible. Okay, it's going to be sweet in this as well. We need some huge powers here. Oh. Okay, Landorus. Would have been better just rock sliding there, to be honest. Levis coming out. Is that going to be enough chip? No way. No way. But the burn is definitely not what we want to see. Uh, huh. Would have been better just Earthquake in there. Ah, this is a mess. This is a mess right now, but it's still kind of winnable, I guess. Depends, like, on, on par paras, honestly. Let's get rid of the Incineroar first. We know we're faster than the Zashin. And if we can pin the Zashin in at, like, minus one, that's way better for us. Like, they may switch the Zashin out now to reset that attack drop. Oh, it would have been better just doubling into the Zashin, but it's definitely the... When you look at that situation there, it's like Zashin has Protect, of course. So, it's... Uh, yeah, we would have been better doubling into Incineroar. But then you leave the Zashin alone. Just the Skulls are just not doing enough. Hopefully this is enough to get the Incineroar. 
legit. It is not. It's gonna pock a berry. It's not. No berry. And a snarl, which is not what we wanna see. <laughs> mm. Right, we need to snarl, I think. Oh, uh, do we icy wind? Snarl or icy wind? Icy wind will take down the incineral. That's just icy wind. Because if the landers does come in, you can kind of snag it, right? The fully paralyzed turns that my opponents had definitely come in. Come in useful. <sighs> right, okay. We should catch the landers here, which is perfect for us. Now the landers will go down, so that's not an issue anymore. Which was the biggest threat to us in all... In all honesty. In all honesty, I guess we deserve it, right? We deserve the miss there. We need the Zashi to be fully paralyzed. If it's not, then we lose this game. Mm. Yeah, I think we do. I think I don't think we can take. Yeah, because an Earth Power is going to do a, a stupid amount of damage. So we need the fully power on. We need the fully power on the Zashi. That icy wind miss is brutal. But, I mean, what ha What can you do? What can you do, eh? What can you do? Can't control it. Once you click the button, it is out of your hands. And maybe we could have managed a little bit better. The Earth Power, can we take it? Nope. That is it. That is it. Good game to my opponent. I feel a little bit more annoyed at myself because I think we could have managed that a little bit better. And the Earth Power damage from Landorus is pathetic. It's like... We really need to adjust the EV spread there um, on that to ensure that you get more damage. But obviously the Incineral was assault best, so that's why uh, in, in that situation we would have been getting better going after the Zashin, like we talked about. So um, just one of those decisions that you make and it really kind of comes back to bite you. A bit annoying, but the team overall I think has still performed well, just... I think we could have played that last one a little bit better. We'll jump over now, friends, and get you the rental code for today's team. Okay, friends, here is the HOTO team from today's episode. There's a rental right in front of you. I hope if you try it out, you have a lot of fun with it. I'm still a little bit annoyed at myself about that last game. I feel like it was definitely a game that we could have won, um, and we had lots of opportunities to do that. The, 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 the damage that we were doing just wasn't good enough and uh i think just readjusting and obviously the way that we lost Ho'o was a little bit unfortunate if we had Ho'o in that game if we didn't take the endeavor behemoth blade combination uh it would have been a little bit different i think so losing the Ho'o in the way that we did made it very difficult for us to kind of proceed so we did all right and in, in hindsight kind of where we got the match to would have been nice to kind of close it up as always because that is the aim of the game but if you do try the team out Hope you have a lot of fun with it. Ho'o is an incredible restricted and I know you'll have a lot of fun with it. And uh, we'll wrap things up there. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode, friend. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll be back very soon with another team to feature in Series 10. It's going to be a little bit different again. And uh, until then, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.